What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video and in today's video something very exciting we have got some new Lego Star Wars 2023 rumours and leaks so before we get into the video guys hit the like and subscribe button for lots more Lego Star Wars content first one on the list which is very exciting is set 75365 and that is a Yavin 4 Rebel Base. Yes, we are getting a Yavin 4 Rebel Base finally. After years and years ago, there was a prototype that we never got. We are finally getting one. It's going to be $159.99, 1,067 pieces. It's coming out August 1st. Details we've got about this set is we are going to have a Y-Wing Microfighter. It's going to have a watchtower and it's going to be a 360 degree open play set. So out of all the sets we've had that LEGO released so far, for the closest thing I can think is either like a Darth Vader's castle type set, even maybe like a Mosaic's cantina, but obviously nowhere near as big as that. But no, super exciting. This is supposedly going to have 12 minifigures in it, which is a lot of minifigures for a $160 set. Usually you only get that amount of minifigures in like a full on UCS set, which is usually like £260 or dollars. So yeah, super excited for this set, super excited to see how it comes. But yeah, this set should be good. Next set on the list. It's going to be set 75371, and this is a surprising one. This is going to be a buildable Chewbacca. Yes, a buildable Chewbacca at $199.99, 2,320 pieces. Coming out September, no specific date, but coming out September. This is a set that I'm surprised about just because they're going down this route, which is okay. It's going to be interesting. But Chewbacca is the first character. That's not like the one I would have gone for. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it in my previous 2023 rumours that maybe we might get a C-3PO or something like that. Which I would have thought if they were going down this route would have been the best first option. But interesting Chewbacca. We'll see what it looks like. It could either be really good or not very good. We'll find out. Next on the list is going to be set 75363. And that is going to be nothing crazy to me. A Mandalorian N1 microfighter. Very surprised because we've literally only just had a Mandalorian um, Razorcrest microfighter. So this is surprising that it's coming out so quick. Maybe they're retiring Razorcrest. I don't know. But this is going to be 14 99 88 pieces. And supposedly we're having Mando and Grogu. But yeah, not much more to say about that. Next, we've got some very interesting things. Something that I am really not looking forward to, which is a bit of a waste of space for me. And that is going to be set 75368, 75369, 75370. And these are going to be the mech figures. And we are supposedly getting a Darth Vader, a Boba Fett and a Stormtrooper. So I wonder if it's something to do with maybe the fact that they're bringing back Bionicle. Maybe they thought, you know what, we'll bring back Star Wars mechs. Very similar type builds. But I don't know, $14.99 these are going to be. And I'm really not looking forward to these. They're a bit of a waste of space. I was getting excited, maybe thinking we're getting like some battle packs or something, even though it's too cheap or more minifigure packs. But no, looks like mechs are making a return and I'm not looking forward to them. I didn't get any of the ones before and I'm probably not going to get any of these. I might get Bob the Fett or something just to see if it's actually like that bad. But from seeing them in other people's collections, I have absolutely no interest in these sets. And then this rumour is one that I came across it I was very surprised about, but I'm not I'm really not sure if this is gonna be true or not. And this is set 75375, and this is Lego Star Wars CMF Series 1. Yes, you heard it right. Supposedly, take this with a pinch of salt. I'm not sure if this is true. I only saw this on one leap page, and supposedly they got it from another leap page, but We'll find out, but this is series one of Lego Stars CMFs, $6.99, and supposedly it's going to be slightly updated minifigures from sets from 1999 to 2002. Well, if that's true, that is great because that's a really interesting way of Lego like, doing it. Each series can be remade figures from different years. So that's the only thing that makes me think it's slightly true. Is it they've got that detail in there, which is, is a good idea because I don't know how they would do it any other way. But yeah, this is, like I say, take it with a pinch of salt. You could get like a, a remake of an original Boba Fett or something like that. But we'll see what happens. It'd be interesting to see how many are in the series. Because six ninety nine, it's like that's quite a bit for just one minifigure. But I can imagine there's gonna be like twelve, ten, 
something like that in the series. And let's face it, it's going to go well. But this would make sense why they're not making any more minifigure packs. Because obviously they've just retired the Clone Trooper one and the Snow Trooper one. So it would be really interesting to see if the reason they're not bringing out any more is because of the CMF series that could be coming out. But yeah, so guys, that is it for this new rumour video. If you're excited to see what actually comes out in summer, obviously we've got March 1st just around the corner with all the new helmet sets that I will be picking up. We'll be making a whole video, so stick around for that. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down below, and I'll see you in the next video.